Judge, this is the case of not man enough. In this case, the plaintiff has a list of things she wants her man to do. The defendant says he's already doing them. I have to decide which one of them has it right. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Rashia Douglas and DeMont Kirksey. The two of you have been together for three years, engaged for one, but you're here because you're not quite sure if you're going to make it through. <laughs> Ms. Uh, Douglas, you would like to receive $1,200 for the down payment on a vehicle, and we will talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Ms. Douglas, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here in divorce court today? Okay, Your Honor, we're here today because I love DeMont. Yes, I do, but here it is. I'm a strong woman, and I need an even stronger man to handle all of this. All of that. All of this. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I need a real alpha man. You know, if I'm stronger, I need somebody ten times stronger, and I'm not ashamed to admit that. Now, when we first started, DeMont was that alpha man, that um, sexy, Well, what confident. constitutes alpha man? What was he doing that made him an alpha? You know, Your Honor, I I have a list. <laughs> okay. So, I need someone strong, uh -huh. confident, assertive, and what I mean, just know when to take the lead and how to do it. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's too much to add. Strong, confident, assertive, selfless, a man who knows how to balance home and work life. Absolutely. Like Where does he fail? Um, all of it. Now, now in the beginning, in the, <laughs> in the beginning, let me tell you, when we first met, Demont, after dating and talking <laughs> on the phone and video chatting for about three months, Demont confidently asked me to go to Vegas with them. Now, right. I was taken aback a little bit because we didn't know each other like that, but I took a chance and I, best decision I ever made. He whined, he dined, we had a nice, you know, sweet. It was sexy, intimate, but not too much. You know, we didn't engage in any type of sexual activity, but it was definitely a vibe I had never felt before. Now, you fast forward to now, and we could just speak about my engagement. You know, it was cute. <clears throat> a family member told me before he did that we were about to get engaged. He let mm -hmm. the person see the ring. And unfortunately, they told me about it immediately right, thereafter. Right. So once he found out that I There's knew about it... It's a pretty ring. <laughs> yes, he even upgraded me since then. Oh, OK. <laughs> so... Um, once the he found looking out, pretty good, I'm just saying, but go okay, ahead. OK, OK. So, um, you know, once he found out that I knew, I came home from school and, you know, he was like, yeah, so I know you know. And he got down on his knee and it was, he gave me his whole spiel and said, well, you married me. He gave me a kiss on the lips, I accepted, and he went to work. The biggest thing right now is just he just lacked romance. And for me, it's like I put that plus sum in the relationship and I don't think it's too much to ask for that in return. Um, his birthday, <laughs> since it started there, um, it's always been a thing. So whether I have funds or not, or I make it special. So this past um, birthday, he wasn't expecting anything. I didn't want to do much, but me being me, I went ahead on and put together something. Um, so Valentine's Day was following up. So Is that the birthday you put together? Yes, he okay. wasn't expecting that. Um, so my daughter and I made it special. He came in from right. work and he saw his gifts and we made his favorite dinner. So I'm just knowing Valentine's Day is coming up. Since you know where we're lacking in a relationship, I'm, I'm expecting them to really woo me. Your Honor, it was cute. I got hot wings and gifts. You know, I'm, I like to eat. I can't say. So it's like, thank you, you know, but... Hot wings and gifts? Yeah. Did you like the gifts? Yes. He's still looking pretty good. I'm, looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm, I'm still looking. Thank you. Thank you. But I what he's still done wrong. Okay, well, on top of lack and romance, I think um, he's not the most financially responsible person. Um, he makes decisions that isn't beneficial for us. And, um, yeah. Give me an example. <clears throat> and then, M Mr. Kirksey, hmm. I promise I'll let you say something. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, well, there's an instance where we needed a vehicle, and um, I was in school. I used my refund check to put the down payment on. Mm -hmm. It's for our family. We all need it. DeMont was on the back end, supposed to handle the payments thereafter and get the car paid off. Fast forward, I wake up in the middle of the night. The car is being repossessed. I had no knowledge of him not paying the bill, so this is what I mean about not being assertive, not handling business, not just 
being that alpha male, you know? If okay. I did, took care of it on the front end, why didn't you handle it on the back? On the back end. That's the first thing I could ask him about. The rest <laughs> of it looked good. Mr. Kirksey, why don't you yeah. tell me what happened with the vehicle and why it does not say that you're not All right, an alpha so let's, let's get to the actual truth of the story. The deal was, yes, she did use her refund from her school for $1,200 for the down payment. Right. That is correct. But the actual truth is, the deal was between me and one of my colleagues, one of my friends, someone I knew for a, a little while, so we had a connection, right? He sells cars. He actually put us in a car before mm -hmm. we gave him any type of payment. Now, he gave us the option to keep the car or get the uh, other vehicle that was previously talked about. So we switch over. We, well, I, working job here, job there, trying to make ends meet. But so, basically what you're telling me mm -hmm. is you were working through a deal temporarily in mm -hmm. one car, putting money on another car, and something fell through at yeah. some point. Get to the point. He made agreements and he didn't pay it off. He had us paying stupid tax. Okay. Stupid tax. You know, we're paying bills, but we're not paying them on time. It, we, it just wasn't enough money. On top of that, Your Honor, call me crazy. I go through his phone. And I just so happened to check his cash out because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with these funds. It was $2 for some chicken for a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that he had sent multiple female co-workers money. Now, grant you, it was only $2 here, $5 there. Those two and those $5 wow. were mine. I understand, Mr. Kirksey, that she mm -hmm. went on a cruise with an ex. Can you tell me about that? Did this you do that? I did. This was super early in our situation be because it was not a relationship at that so time. So you don't think you were together together at the time this happened? We was were. this before or after Vegas? This was after uh, Vegas. It was after Vegas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she said she was going on a family vacation. She was going back to go pick up her mom, dad, mm -hmm. sister. Because she was a flight descendant at the time, so she had the benefits. Right. Later to come out on a social media site, pictures of her and one of her exes. And family Your Honor, member. if I may. Did, 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 did you was, do that? I did. This was super early in our it doesn't situationship matter. Be because it was not a relationship at that so time. So you don't think you were together together at the time this happened? We was were. this before or after Vegas? This was after, after Vegas. It was after Vegas. Mm -hmm. Was it before <laughs> or after him moving to Memphis? Definitely before. Before the move We're to Memphis. We're talking about two years before. Mm -hmm. We were not, it was a gray area at that time. And it's solely because of the same reasons we're here. I was waiting to see more from the keep in mind, this is the person said there's no gray area. It's either black or white. Now, since he got here, it's been no gray area. It's been a way but since the beginning. But mainly because of the same reasons we're here today, he wasn't really, I guess to say it, he wasn't hitting my checklist. So, you know, I'm not about I, to... And, and, and I hear you about that checklist. I just don't feel you. Because, <laughs> you know, it looks like, just from where I stand, you want him to do the storefront flash dance thing. You cool, you wanted balloons for the birthday. You, you know, what was cool was the Vegas and the trip and the bling. He got you a ring, then he got you an upgrade. Then, you know, you worried about, you know, the streamers and the birthday party. You like, you like show love. And I maybe am... the show love that you're looking for is not what's economically available right now. Tell me where I'm wrong. I have you as a woman who wants show love. I can't c call it show love. I want 100% plus on because that's what I'm putting into my relationship. I'm taking care of home. I'm going above and beyond. And I just want that to be reciprocated. I'm not asking for more than I'm giving. And I don't... Well, what are you asking for? <laughs> what I'm asking for, just... To be a man of your word, you know, like I said, if you say you're gonna do this, do that. Give if me say, examples of things he said he wasn't gonna do. That is not that car. Okay, so we're still speaking about romance. We're here, Your Honor. Um, yes. That's a big thing for me. I like dates, I like to get up, get sexy, you know. I want that for my man. Do you think he had anything planned for us? Absolutely not. It was what you wanna eat. You want wings? No, I don't want wings. <laughs> <laughs> So. Right. That's your go-to thing, is the wings. No, 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 Can I please let me check? All right. Mr. Kirksey, please respond. All right, so 
she is very picky about what she wants to eat. So I always ask now, instead of, okay, well, we're just gonna go here. I don't oh, really no, want no, this. I don't like that. I don't, I don't want this. Uh, let's, let's go somewhere else. Okay, so what do you want? You pick. I can't I'll pick if you constantly. I'm planning it. So I can plan something, you, want, you don't want it. I'll then go what with do the we flow, because I'll be proud. <laughs> You'll go with the flow. But, yeah, okay, honor. so. But does he right. re so, make recommendations and then uh, I'm not feeling it? I can't say ever so often. And I'll give you an example. Like I said, the mic <sighs> can want things this way, that way. So I'm just being modest right now. I have my list Are for Sodi. The so does he. So if I'm hitting all the things on your checklist, you should be too. Now you don't want to hmm. take me on dates, but the moment that I want to do something by myself, I get all sexy at home, put the girls up, go out. Oh, DeMont goes into full harassment mode. You're checking the phone. You want to know who I'm going with. Is somebody going to be there? Who I'm meeting with? If you were doing that for me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have no to be asking. Mr. Kirksey, what do you have to say about that, sir? One day I come home from work. She said, hey, it's a condom missing. You know anything about that? I was like, no, I don't. I don't even know where the box of condom is. So she was like, well, you're lying to me. You're doing something. You at the airport. You do this, you do this. I was like, no, I don't. Well, the only time she does want to go out like this is when she gets an attitude or she gets aggravated by something. Mm hmm That's it. So you think there's going to be some revenge action going on? Pretty much. She's going out to... to, to, to mm hmm because she says little Neely. sneaky things. And, and I know that's goes. true, because you smiling like it's true. Mm hmm <laughs> Because I'm, I'm going to say this. She tries to get me caught in the act of something that I've never done. I don't cheat. So let me, let me tell you about this. We had a miscarriage one time. It put us in a, a dark, deep place right. as it would anybody else. So we decided to go buy condoms just to prevent this from happening for a while. Right, right, right. But we never opened the box. We never used it. We put it up top of the closet somewhere. I don't know. I forgot the place. Mm -hmm. One day I come home from work. She said, hey, it's a condom missing. You know anything about that? I was like, no, I don't. I don't even know where the box of the condom is. So she was like, well, you're lying to me. You're doing something. You at the airport. You do this, you do this. I was like, no, I don't. I don't, I don't cheat. I don't go outside of this relationship, period. That's not something I do. So, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. So Absolutely. later on down the line, a couple of months later, she does this thing, especially if she's in the wrong. She said, well, I have a confession to make. Like, so what is it now? Remember that time I told you that uh, it was kind of missing? Thought you were doing something? Truth was... I threw it away. I hid it. Just to see if you were Just doing Just to start something. some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, Ms. Douglas, did you do that? <laughs> yep, you did. Yes, I did. That's this cool. was not to start stuff. This was, again, in an ugly phase in our relationship where the monies wasn't adding up. You're still at this job that mm. I don't understand why. And it was a lot of suspect Why did you have on. a problem with his gig? It just wasn't making enough money? It wasn't making enough money. So on top of that, you're, you're been, you know, one minute you say you're not cool with the female, you know, workers up there. And I have no problem with that if I would have known. You're, it's almost like he's hiding it. So, so on top of <laughs> coming home late, on top of putting in hours, and it's Work not even sufficient, why are you still there? So during that time, <laughs> I was 100% sure that Demond had other stuff going on. So I wanted to pick his brain. So I was hoping to push his back <laughs> against the wall and he confessed to something. But I was happy that he so did. He didn't. But, no. <laughs> but, but you knew you you knew he he didn't do anything at I all. I was hoping that he would tell me something. So, Your Honor, I worked at the airport long nights. Right. Didn't pay much, so I worked overtime a lot to make ends meet. Right. To get trips, we had flight benefits. Right. Something we started on, so it was going back to the norms. Right. So right. So we just fly right. around, do whatever. She wants to think that I'm messing around at work. She went through a uh, uh, cash app or something like that. Uh, it's something like that. Two dollars for chicken. Somebody yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two dollars for when chicken. Act, but right. Hang on, let him finish. But someone else needed two dollars in cash, right? A female, so to say. Like I said, it's, I don't do anything. She wants to say that I do, but it was two dollars. And she said, well, I don't want to go upstairs and buy high priced food or high priced mm -hmm. snacks, which is understandable. If it was a male, she wouldn't have any problem with it. It's just that it's a female that was Four quarters, for it. eight quarters to a woman, yeah. and he it was too much. Yeah, co workers. Why you never bring up the conversations you have with women? Why uh -huh. is it something that you just have to hide? So that I have to tell you every secretive. day, okay, well, I gave somebody a change for it. No, dollar. that's not what I'm saying. But if I can be transparent about my work life and what's going on, I kind of expect so it in let, return. So let's say, let's say Nick and I walking down the street, 
and he wants to hop into the 7 Eleven or something and, and get something, he don't have any cash on him. I got $2. I can give Nick $2. I got to go home and tell Big E? No, he don't. So He's why are you doomed. I gave him money. I got to go report? No, no. Why does he have to report? You don't want that $1,200, do you? No. You I want don't... this guy. But yeah. you just want to want him to roll like George Clooney or something. Yep. You want him to flash and fan and carry on. You want romance, balloons, rings, and blingy things, right? <laughs> something like that. You got that, you confused. You said to me that what you wanted was, and I, and I underlined it, I want to have real counseling session to figure things out and see things from eye to eye before moving forward with the wedding. Mm -hmm. What you need to do pre-wedding is not have some great engagement. You don't have to have a wonderful moment that is full of fancy and flourish. He probably was trying to do that. Somebody gave him up. He said, well, you know, so I'm gonna drop to my knees right now. My husband gave me my engagement ring during an argument. <laughs> <laughs> he said, and I bought this for you and everything. That's how it wow. happened. This is 32 years ago. The, the thing is, you got to do the right thing. It's about talking, communication, what you want out of life, what you want, what, what, what makes you happy. Uh, she's a flashy chick. Mm -hmm. I think what she would take is a lot of little love and kindness, little cards, texts, things like that. I think that would be enough for her. Okay. And I think that sometimes men overlook the simple things, look at, thinking that only the blingy things count. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to be in that position, because I think you personally are fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes! Fabulous! Thank you. You to know that you got fabulous over here. You need to take whatever list you got over there that you gave to the people and just tear it up. <laughs> just tear it up. <laughs> a little more soft, light love, and a little more room for a man who's doing the best that he can. He's working hard. He's coming home. He's not cheating. He loves you. He buys you wings. <laughs> That's her favorite food, by the Learn way. Learn to enjoy what you got until before you figure out it'll fly away. This, got it. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Thank you. Thank you.